Are you guys here now? I don't know if the chat refreshed or not. Whisper to me, Sakura Girl, Ivy Lynn, Carrie Lynn, Mary Kim, Lisa. I'm so lost. I don't know. I guess so. Leo Wife, Evie Bubbles, Mrs. Mick Jagger, Chris Randy, Mystery Truth Seeker, CYNT, Scarlet Rain, Brenda, Carrie Lynn, um, Deborah, Mandy Hall. Oh, you, okay, because it, it was weird. You're just joining now? Okay. Ivy, uh, Flower Girl, See Me. Hi, See Me. Is it your first time here? Hi, Sharon. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Save Robbie. Rambunctious. Okay, so. Hey, Tico. Everybody's just joining. We're all just joining because I'm. I just came on. You just. Oh, good. Well, I just came on. I. Watch the um, Rebecca Zahau high sea glass and shells last night. It's your birthday, Deborah. You're off to prepare. A mother's work is never done. You have to prepare on your birthday, Deborah. Happy birthday to you, Deborah. Oh, and if everybody can keep um, manager of three monsters. Send her some good thoughts and prayers because she's going through the kidney stones. She still has those kidney stones going on. And her nephew, I believe it's Avery, is going under some pretty serious surgery. He's only 10 months old. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's only 10 months old. So if you could give her some of that. And, of course, uh, Mama Ames' sister and uh, Evie's aunt and, and, and Callie's mother and everyone else. Uh, Crazy Cat Lady, everyone else that's going through stuff, just, you know, send some good thoughts and prayers their way. That would be great. You have, Tico. Must not have, it's not fun, right? <laughs> You're from Colorado where Rebecca was murdered. Oh, Coronado. Coronado. I don't know what you've had. Oh, I get you mixed up with Eve, I think. It was such a sad case. A drinker of water. Well, that's what I've been drinking. This is my third glass of lemon water. And then I'm going to have seltzer. Hey, Laura. Yeah, prayers and good thoughts for all. I groomed the dog today. Well, I didn't... Re well, Jimmy said he was going to give Zoe a bath. So I said, well, let me just trim her hair. She's very easy to groom. Um, my poor Maltese, I've got to get at again. Too much caffeine and soda. Oh, really? Caffeine and soda? I don't drink soda, so I'm good there, but I don't really drink that much caffeine. I used to drink much more caffeine. Could I please have her as my aunt died this morning? My mom is having trouble due to pneumonia and I'm worried about her. I'm still in shock, so I'm, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Lisa. Well, absolutely, condolences on your aunt and prayers for your mom with that and the pneumonia and for all of you, of course, prayers for you guys all around. Hey Mona, you're just trucking on through. You're tr trucking on, <laughs> trucking on somewhere else. You're about eighty percent, Michael. Hey VST. Hi Tracy. Hi Gigi. Hi Bergstrong. Heading to the airport to Cape Cod to visit your friend. Where are you? Ha where, from where, Bergstrong? From where? Hi Sammy. Hi, Teacup. Hi. Thank you. Jeannie, hi. KS Sunflower, hi, Joe March.
Hi, Janelle. How you go, girl? It happened suddenly? Oh, no. How old was she, Lisa? Thanks, Gigi. 68. Hmm. Had she been going through a hard time? Was she, like, depressed or anything? Or I'm sure, I imagine, right? Um, so, oh, okay, from Pittsburgh. Hi, Betty. Welcome to your first time in chat. Okay, see me. Bipolar, she kicked her husband out. He was drinking. He was mentally abusive. Just recently that happened? That she kicked him out? Not yet, Ravi. Uh, no, no, I didn't yet. I, ha I have to. Is your mom near you, Lisa? Yes, Gigi. Yeah, we talked about it last night. Hi, LA lady. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Lola. Robbie. <laughs> I love that, Robbie. I really do. I really do, Robbie, because... <laughs> Such a BS art. I didn't put... I, I literally went on and I just threw some eyeshadow on. I didn't put mascara. I didn't put eyeliner. I didn't put any type of foundation. I said, I'm going on like this. I don't care. And then you say that, Robbie. Okay, <laughs> It's too much. I didn't do my hair. My hair is so wreck. You should see the hair. Literally, it was, Robbie, before I just, I just brushed it. It was like all up on one side. I look like a lunatic. <laughs> I, I love that. And then sometimes you spend so much time getting ready for something. Oh, that scared me today. I turned around to tell someone something and she was right behind me. Usually mine are too VST. I don't know. It still looks like I'm wearing eyeliner. I haven't put eyeliner on in a day. I didn't put my uh, mascara on or anything. The only thing I put on is a little eyeshadow. That's it. Your mom's about one hour away. Oh, okay. Is it... Um, And maybe my color looks good. <laughs> well, hopefully it's getting better because I'm taking my iron. Thank you, Tico. Anyway, I need to have an exorcism on which thing? Which thing do I need? Oh, on that thing behind me? Does the head have a name? No. And I don't know why Jimmy attached it to a board. I have no idea. Jimmy did that, not me. He put it there. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Lexi. So anyway, who's familiar? Do I? I don't know. Who's familiar with um, the Rebecca Zahao? On the bride of chucking. 
<laughs> a board. Yeah, it's it's a big butcher block cutting board that he attached it to back there. I don't know why. I have no idea. I didn't tell him to do it. I have no idea. Not you, not you. The better you want to look for something, the more trouble you run into. That's why you're gonna right? Isn't that crazy, Mrs. Roger Rabbit? The brother? Okay, well, I tell you, I don't like the documentary that was on the ID Discovery. It's, it's just like the Watts one, right? But hi, hey, Jessica. It went so fast, right? One minute I'm looking at it and like, what? What did they say? I thought they said that the, I found out because. I thought they said that the husband, not the husband, the boyfriend was pleasuring himself when they found out they found the body. And I'm like, how could that be? Because he was at the hospital with his ex-wife and his son. But no, then it wasn't him, it was the brother. Everything just went like really quick at the end of that, really quick. And I was, and I was um, very confused. And then it was just over. So, but I, then I did some more study after that. So is he Superman? Um, they're they're watching the Avengers. So, all three of them in there. Um, oh, thanks. The poor girl was murdered, and to make it sound like she committed. But why would I, okay? I just don't. I don't get it. I do not get it. Okay, there's so much on the end. I don't get it. Why would let's say, okay, you guys think the brother killed her, right? And then in this thing I watched yesterday, the ex-wife says, <laughs> "You think they're they're tiny, tiny, tiny kids?" Um. She said, "What happened?" And he said, you know, like, Rebecca's dead or something. She killed, like, and the ex-wife says, what do you mean? And then the, the husband takes something like a sword and he, he puts it into his abdomen and he says, honor killing. Right? Did you guys see that? But if the brother killed her, why would he do it like that? Why would he have her all bound up? I don't, I don't get it. Why would he have her all bound up? Bye, Robbie. He was a fisherman in the ropes. Okay. But why? Why wouldn't he just take... Okay, so you're saying you think that it was he was ha having fun with her and that he didn't mean to kill her? Is that, is that what you're saying? Because I don't know whether if that's what you're saying. He was a fisherman. Right. But I don't think he wanted to be. But why would they kill her like that? I don't get it. And somebody told me something about being in a trunk. I don't know why. No, she wasn't into him. I think he was getting off on the whole thing, though. But wouldn't he be afraid that we're not going to. Going to Rule it a uh, suicide? Hi, Cece. I don't get it. <laughs> I I just I don't get it. He staged to like a suicide. No, Sarah. She was hanging out of a like off a balcony with her hands and her feet bound and a t-shirt stuck in her mouth naked and um i'm gonna i'm gonna go over some of it but they said sexually assaulted with the handle of a knife rebecca 
is a how. It's crazy and trying to, and then they won the, the family won the civil case against the brother that he killed her. Now they want to reopen the criminal case. Please pray for my middle son. He became very ill and was transported to a large hospital by ambulance, sepsis, and pneumonia. <gasps> After, <gasps> oh no. Oh my gosh. After Turks and Caicos, do you think it was someone with him, Kathy? Is this, is this your son that I know? Oh, definitely prayers for him. That's so scary. Oh my goodness. Do they know what it could be from? It's sad, it's scary. Was anybody else came back sick like that? Oh my gosh. That's supposed to be a lovely place. Prayers for him, Kathy. Oh my goodness. Was he with anyone else and are they sick? <laughs> are you near him? Are you near him, Kathy? You don't worry about that, Lisa. You relax. I shortness. Hi, Nana. That's really scary. Hi, Jane. We brought him home, my husband. Oh, he's home? Well, <sighs> well, they let him go. That must be a good sign, right, Kathy? Yeah, it is. <laughs> he came home Saturday. It was sick Sunday. They transported. Oh, so wait a minute. Oh, okay. Mm. Never mind. I, I thought you said you brought him home. Your husband's at the hospital with him, you're saying. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. They brought him to. I see. Wow, that's scary. Oh, where are you, Bella Mac? I need help on this case, where it's very ridiculous. Jimmy, that's really loud, very loud. Absolutely, you do. How old is he? How old is it, Kathy? Thirty-one. That's so scary. And was he like, was he with someone, or they're not sick? Nobody else got sick that you know. Mm. 
Nobody else sick. Wow. Mm. I hope that he is better soon. Well, is he respond? Is he? Does your husband say he's responding better? Is the bigger hospital is probably more equipped, right? Sounds like it. Well, hi, Diana. That's really scary. Crazy. You don't know. I don't think they reopened the case. The civil suit was overturned. It was overturned? Really? All right, Kathy, we'll be praying for him. Let us know how he's doing, all right? All right, so let's, um, well, let's look at this Rebecca case. Hold on. About the case. I think I know the case from a movie. I don't know if, it, has there been a movie about it? I don't think so, but hi, Teresa. VA girl. Okay, so let, let's look at it. We've got some information. For those of you that don't, it was originally ruled a suicide. It hasn't been changed to a homicide. They would like to, but it's still a, a suicide. Hi, Evelyn. All right, let me get the information. Sorry that I'm eating. Okay. Come here, info. Glasses. Okay, so TV is so loud. All right, let's see here. Um, okay, so none of it, none of it added up. Devastated friends and family. <clears throat> Most maddening was the authorities' determination that her death was a suicide. The San Diego County Sheriff's Department has long maintained that Sahal killed herself because she somehow felt responsible for Max's death. That's the boy that fell over the um, railing on a scooter. He fell onto, they had a carpet under there, but, um, okay, hold on a minute. Okay, wow. All right, so anyway. <coughs> the, where was we? So he fell on the carpet, and then he went to the hospital where they had to take him off life support because he was brain dead. And he was still alive, though, when this happened. So it says, um... After nearly eight years, because this happened in 2011, it appears they may have gotten closer as a former prosecutor, Lonnie Coombs. Okay, she just did a, um, I don't know, like a two-part series on the Oxygen, I think, network it was. I don't know. I didn't see hers. Hers was not the one that I watched. For the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office, who was... Struck by the way in which the Howe's body was discovered, as a woman, I had this strong reaction. There's just no way a woman would choose to end her life this way. Okay, so she has, um, the result of her work is on oxygen. Now, this was back in June, so you might be able to find it on a rerun, called Death at the Mansion, Rebecca Zahau. Whatever you're thinking on the case, the details are intriguing. So it premiered in June. The limited series follows Jensen, Coombs, and Holes as they speak with witnesses, family members, and authorities concerned, connected to the case, and each brought a different perspective and experience 
to the investigation. I'm not a prosecutor, I'm not a scientist, but there's certain things I can do. I put out different geo-targeted campaigns on social media, Jensen said. I was trying to find anyone who might have seen or heard anything that night. It was a shot in the dark because it was a long time ago, but we were able to get a little bit of information. The trio also re-examined theories surrounding Zahu, Zahau's death, let me say Rebecca, of which there were many. With this case, there are just so many aspects to it. From the rope, to the note, to the 911 call, to all the different characters, there's just a lot of things to investigate. Rebecca's family believes she was sexually assaulted, strangled and killed before her body was hung off the balcony. They allege that her boyfriend's brother, Adam Shackney, who was the first to find Rebecca's body, is responsible for her killing. But police said he was not culpable in her death. Her family filed a wrongful death suit against Adam in April 2018, and he was found liable by a civil jury. After a judge refused to reverse the jury's verdict, the case was settled in February for $600,000. The settlement was paid by an insurance company covering Adam's legal exposure. His attorney said the settlement took place without Adam's knowledge, and he has maintained he is innocent. The Shacknays would not speak with Coombs, Holes, and Jensen in the course of their investigation, during which Jensen said they did not take the results of the civil trial at face value. You always have to remember there are two people that died in this situation, one little boy and one young woman. Always be respectful of that fact and be respectful of the victims. He said of the approach he and his team took that, and that which the audience should take when watching the series, go into it with an open mind. By the end of their investigation, Combs, Holes, and Jensen were able to create a case filled with evidence that they said now was new and strong enough to present to the San Diego County Sheriff's Department for review. Though unable to delve into specifics, Jensen said that while they were conducting a recreation of a room involved in the investigation, I discovered something that I never would have seen in the photographs because I did it in 3D. It was a big clue. There's a lot to be investigated. Okay, so that's, that's, I don't know if any of you saw that series, but, um, now here's something else. Happened on July 13, 2011, right? 32 year old Rebecca was found naked and hanging from a balcony at her boyfriend Jonah Shackney's California summer home. The shocking discovery came just days after Jonah's son, Max, fell in the mansion, suffering injuries that would later prove fatal while under Rebecca's care. Despite authorities ruling Rebecca's death as a suicide, her family members insist she didn't die by her own hand. They even brought a wrongful death suit against Adam, which we just talked about. Um, here's a look at the evidence, the rope. Red rope bound Rebecca's ankles and hands. Investigators with the Sheriff's Department said Rebecca tied the rope, including the knot binding her own hands behind her back. A knot expert hired by, the, by Rebecca's family testified at the civil trial that the knots tied around Rebecca were consistent with nautical marit maritime knots that Adam, a tugboat captain, would be familiar with. A different knot expert for the defense testified self-tying was possible in this case and disputed the knots on Rebecca's body were uniquely nautical. During cross-examination, Rebecca's family's attorney asked the defense witness to demonstrate how Rebecca tied the knots. Lieutenant Rich Williams of the San Diego Sheriff's Department Homicide Unit, who reviewed the case in tandem with other agencies, said at press conference in 2018 that the family and witness statements indicated Rebecca did have some experience tying a boat knot. Okay, a painted message. Oh yeah, the painted message, right? What was that about? Lab testing revealed the painted message on a door leading to the bedroom that read, she saved him, can you save her? Matched paint found on Rebecca's body according to law enforcement. Two kitchen knives were also found in the room. Forensic specialist for, the, for Rebecca's family, Lisa DeMille, 
testified at the civil trial. In her opinion, it looked like Rebecca's menstrual blood was on all sides of a knife handle. Rebecca's family attorney, Keith Greer, agreed during opening statements it meant that Rebecca was sexually assaulted with the handle. At the 2018 press conference, for the review of the case, Lieutenant Williams said the autopsies did not find any evidence of sexual assault. Test only showed Rebecca's DNA on the smaller knife, which had no fingerprints. According to the San Diego Sheriff's Department, a mixture of DNA and of at least two individuals was found on the larger knife, but the sample was insufficient for testing. Rebecca's fingerprints were also found on the blade. In closing arguments of the civil trial, Adam's defense attorney said no DNA evidence or testimony from witnesses connected Adam to Rebecca's death. On the balcony, authorities say they found bare feet and toe impressions they believe were consistent with Rebecca's foot size and a person leaning forward over the railing. Sheriff Department investigators said disturbances to dust on the railing matched the width of Rebecca's torso and rope. A boot print that was traced to a responding officer was also on the balcony. Expert witnesses for Rebecca's family um, argued at the civil trial that Rebecca was strangled and claimed her death was made to look like a suicide. And the doctor was questioned during cross-examination by Adam's defense team as to why he changed his previous opinion on the manner of death from undetermined to homicide. Retired Sheriff's Department senior latent print examiner Linda Wright was called to the was called by the defense, and she said she did not find Adam's fingerprints on any of the items tested. She also said she did not find evidence on the balcony. Any evidence the balcony door was wiped down. However, when asked by the Rebecca's family attorney during our cross-examination, she testified parts of the balcony door could have been wiped down. Gloves questioned. The civil trial brought into question if gloves found in different parts of the home were tested, including a latex glove found in a crawl space and a pair of garden gloves located on the living room table. They said, Lieutenant Williams said each was tested despite one of the garden gloves showing a mixed sample of at least two individuals the gloves proved insufficient amounts of DNA, either for testing or conclusions. And then a voicemail, Jonah's son Max was in a coma. According to the report from the San Diego Sheriff's Department, Jonah claimed he left a voicemail detailing a turn for the worse before sheriff's homicide investigators believe Rebecca died. Although cell phone records confirmed he left a message, investigators with the Sheriff's Department say they were not able to retrieve the content of the deleted voicemail. To learn more about this case, that that death at the mansion, they mentioned that again. So I don't know if you've seen, if, who has seen that one. Um, but hold on. I'm just going to finish that so I stop eating. And uh, I'm, sure I'm driving somebody nuts. Okay. Um, let me see if I have anything else here. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's, it's kind of infuriating a little bit because it doesn't make a lot of sense. But maybe someone, Bella Mack is so into that case, but she can never call in. She was naked, yeah. I think the family's money influenced the outcome. Okay, so we've got 
that and there was something else. Who's having a great grandbaby? You have a great grandson, Sarah? Yeah, it doesn't, that's crazy. Congratulations. Okay, I'm just trying to see what you guys were saying while I was reading. Okay, they did a docu movie. Yeah, maybe maybe that's the one you saw. Maybe that's the one you saw on the Oxygen Network. Yes, no, maybe so. All right, hold on. There was no. Okay, so what happened to those, um, not that I watched the show, those Chrisley people, their income tax evasion or something? I, I, I've only seen that, like, one time, I think, when Ethan had an appendicitis, and we were watching, like, Seven Little Johnsons, Luke and I, all night. And um, I think they came on, and I was like, this, what is this? It was, it was annoying. I didn't watch it, but I just saw it. I thought I had something else here. See me. So what's the current events? That's what I'm looking at. Who's Alec who's Alexa Curtin? She's arrested nine days after being released from jail. Who is she? R-H-O-C, what is that? Somebody knows? Oh, the suspect in the Mackenzie Lewick murder, charged with 19 counts of sexual exploitation of minors. He faces new charges after police examined his computer and allegedly found pornographic images of children. So there's more charges there. Um... He faces 19 counts after police examined his computer. Authorities had seized his computer as part of a search warrant for the investigation of uh, Mackenzie's disappearance. According to charging documents first obtained by the St. Louis Tribune, the forensic lab found multiple images of children engaged in sex acts. The images are unrelated to her disappearance. Okay. Salt Lake City County, Salt Lake County District Attorney Sim Gill tells the press that they're investigating where and when the images were made and they will try to identify the children for now. Uh, they will try to identify the children for now. The guy is only charged with possession of child pornography. Great. Wonderful. Wonderful. And then T Todd and Julie, that Chrisley, right? They're indicted by grand jury for tax evasion. Whoever watches those, I, I. oh, listen to this one. The dad that was charged in the 1988 murder of boy found dead under billboard is now suspected in his wife's murder. Did you hear that? Uh, North Carolina. A North Carolina man already charged with his son's 1998 murder, 1998 murder, will likely face an additional criminal charge sometime next month. District Attorney Anna Orr would not discuss the case in specifics, but says more charges are coming. 
Witt, 57, is accused of killing his 10-year-old son, Bobby Witt, and leaving his body beneath a billboard along Interstate 85 in Mabane, North Carolina. Detectives suspect Witt also killed his wife, Myung, um, 44, noting that next month that next month's added charges will be related will be related to her death. Police uh, believe she was suffocated in May of 1998. Her naked body was found in Spartanburg, South Carolina, which is also along Interstate 85. Bobby died from strangulation, most likely in July of 1998. His skeleton was found beneath a billboard by work crews cutting the grass along the highway. For years, Bobby's identity was unknown, and he was never reported missing. Relatives believed his mother returned to her native South Korea, taking the boy with her. Oh, so nobody even knew about it. That's crazy. Very crazy. Okay. Oh my gosh, they have the TV so freaking loud. This is, Jimmy? Oh my God. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, who, Molly Ray Cyrus, she's, she's, is that the one that just got separated from her husband after less than a year? No, it wasn't, it wasn't her, who was it? Was it her? It was somebody. What is this? Are you kidding me? This can't be a new thing. Oh yeah, this is this is new. You heard this one? Killer dad, Chris Watts, is tormented by his past in prison, says this source. Really? It doesn't even look like anything new. It looks like they just redid the the um, article for the anniversary. So it says exactly what they said back in March. All right, but the date was today. Crazy. All right. Um, Over the last 24 hours, you finished preparing him for college. In what the heck? I hate these ads that just play like that. It just drives me crazy. Okay. I don't know. I don't have any other current events on that stuff. That's, it. That's about the spent the end of the current events. Let me come back to the chat. <sighs> you never hear a body as another family annihilator. Body. Whose body? Hey, High 69. Oh, High 69 says that the house is going to go for sale on September 18th. Is that what you said, High? You mean for auction, right? Oh my gosh, I've got it. Hold on a minute. Oh my gosh, okay. Um. He goes live on an island, which people do it all the time. What's going on? For auction, okay. So hi, hi, Dad TV. Um. Hey, Michelle. So everybody heard that September eighteenth. It's it's back on again. Auction. Today on the Colorado News, they said the auction will be on September 18th. Is that all they said? That's it? Is it the same company? Same bank? I wonder over time if CW would explain, examine his childhood past. Let's see. I don't know. Hi, Sunny Bunny. 
Who would want to live there? The house is scary looking now. Well, there's always people that want to live there. I mean, it will only be the bank getting money though, right? Yeah, he's not going to get any money. When is it foreclosure, right? I think, yeah, I think there will be since the case is so sensational. I do. People bought Travis Alexander, is that a problem? Mm-hmm. Hey, Casbat. No, I, I wouldn't want to live there, but I wouldn't want to live in Colorado, period. Sorry, Ruby. And anybody else that lives in Colorado. Um, too many. No, I just, I, don't, I wouldn't like to live like where you... I don't think I could live squashed. I, I have to live on a coast. I'm not. Your granddaughter wants to go home. She isn't looking forward to another winter. Where's home? I hope we buys it. Yeah, bagel, they're not going to tear it down. They're not going to tear it down because it wouldn't, um, they'd have to get an ordinance and everything. They're not going to do that. They're not going to put a park there and that. It's, no, they're not going to do that. But coast is very nice. Yeah, I um, just, and, and the altitude is kind of high. Maybe that's messing with people's minds. I don't know. You're a Colorado native, and I don't want to live in New York. <laughs> That's good. Televising the auction would be gross, and then it's, yeah, I didn't want to televise it. Sandy mentioned that they'd like to turn it in. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they can do that either, because that would technically be a business and it's I don't know if it's zoned for that I wouldn't like to live in any house where a crime is committed my city is also at a very high altitude everyone here is insane <laughs> you're busing okay what time is it you're busing already oh yes yeah, seven The Weld County area is flat and dry, 40 miles north of Denver. The altitude does mesh with people. Football players have to condition themselves when they come to Colorado. And you have to use the high altitude directions on the back of the cake mixes and stuff, right? You couldn't pay me to set foot in that house. Set foot in it. I mean, I would set foot in it. I wouldn't want to live in it. Just waiting for the bus with 313 people. Can you imagine the bus drivers? <laughs> so what else did I have going on today? Well, the Broncos often need more than altitude conditioning for the high egos. Oh, correct, cooking with the altitude has to always be considered. Oh, you didn't, Dad TV? Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. I 
I didn't have the syrup yet, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. So what else? Um, oh, I have, yes, see, I knew there was another update. Uh, Chris, Kristen, you know what? You really, you did that perfectly because it is Kristen that I need to tell you about her update about the cake. Because she said, yeah, and this, this is important because Kristen, I know you're probably listening to this in the morning. So I'm going to go through that email now because I didn't, I have so many emails. But this is an important one, I think. So let me see. It's about the cake baking, and we need input for the people that want to bake. So listen up as soon as my email opens. Okay. Okay. Somebody keeps taking my videos and uploading them to these Chinese stations that like occur overnight, and I don't know how this one had monetization because everything was uploaded and you know usually I had to apply for that and everything I don't know how they got it so I had to do like copyright strikes like crazy I they just keep taking mine and it's the same one that they put in there and who told me about it mama Ames told me about that one and then I looked in the section there's a section in YouTube and it tells you if somebody uploads your entire video and I was like what I don't know why this is so ridiculous okay Okay, so, where's Kristen? Okay, let me make this a little. Okay, items in reverse order of the subject line. First subject I, line item, another well done on that tribute for Shanann's family. It came out beautiful. Second subject line, I'm ready to do the baking tutorial whenever is a good day for you. Okay, guys, she's ready to go. You said last night that you were waiting for the instructors to set a date. I don't know if that was last night and the night before. But your schedule is much more restrictive than mine. I'm sure with everything you have going on with the kids and the nonsense with the, oh, I just assumed you were dealing with all that and would ask me if a certain day worked for me and you were able to catch your breath. I could ask my aunt to drive up here on the 20th if that works for you, or if people need a weekend, I can have you come up on the weekend of the 17th or 18th or the 24th or 25th. Well, the 24th or the 25th, I'm going to be out of town. <laughs> you tell me what looks best for your schedule. Um, this, well, the 17th or the 18th, um, well, my daughter, let me see, well, my daughter's having the transportation. All right, don't worry, don't worry about it. It should be fine, whatever you want to do. I would say to do it in three separate short lives. Are there ever, is there ever a short life, Kristen? I don't think there's ever been one. One while we assemble the ingredients and put it into bake, then end it when it bakes the 45 minutes hop back on for every oh no they want to they want to be on the whole time Kristen hop back on when everyone takes them out because then they could cheat they could cheat mm -mm. you could make up something else like maybe we could have like another quick something during that 45 minutes they can do maybe they could do a craft or something I don't know maybe <laughs> but you can't let them go they could cheat okay hop back on for everybody to take them out and test for done it's like they might have a catastrophe like that then we would miss it all like if somebody's boiled all over the oven or something no we can't go anywhere hop back on after it's cooled for half an hour or whatever for us to cut out around the edge. No, 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 go to stand. Okay, so I can do the third step later. I can't do the third step later than 7 p.m. because even with my aunt here, I have to help out with certain 
bedtime kid routine thing. So maybe we can do the first live at say 4 p.m. like Jeff did. That takes about 20 minutes at the most because we have several things already prepped for. They don't prep, but yeah, I know, okay. Then it bakes from 4.30 to 5.15. We hop on again at about 5.15 to remove them. I mean, you can pop on and off, Kristen, but I, we can't let the bakers have free reign. We hop on at 5, at 6 or 6.30. I'm trying to get savvy with the Slack app, but all I see are everyone's names and general discussions. I can't seem to find a craft group per se. You can't find it? Third subject line item. Okay, and that was about the PS. You are hysterical with those doll mannequin discussions. You ha exactly have my sense of humor, placing random dolls in the background of photos to watch people's reactions. Genius, great minds think alike. Okay, let me go back and see what everybody's saying. Okay. So, you think you could just let them come back? You can't let those people come back. They could they could stick like um, a Fryhofer's Louisiana crunch cake in, in the thing and, and say they baked it. You, you can't. It's the coffee cake. You can't let people go away. I'm telling you. That's too much. You, and we, you miss it. If somebody's oven was like overheating or something, there was a fire, we would miss it all. Kristen can go off. I mean, if you have to go off, Kristen, you can go off. We'll have people to hold down to the four. You've never made one? Okay, well, then you've got... She's making a really nice one. It's got to be seven hours. Does the people start... All my videos. Carolyn, does the people site start with H? Because all my videos are there. The people site. Cece, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I'm trying to see. Baking. I want to see what you guys said. Okay, so when do you want to do the baking? I, I'm going to see if Kristen is in the Slack crafts because, and I'm going to write her a message in there and tell her that she's in the craft group because she can't see it. And then we've got the decoupage. Maybe, I don't know, we could get crazy and do, Lisa, if you could hear me, Lisa DeFiero, how long do you think the decoupage would take? Could they do it in the 45 minutes? Like, it doesn't have to be finished. They could do it, and then there's, like, another step that's got to cool. Could we do, like, a... And then what if somebody's doing the cake and it's doing the decoupage? Maybe we could kind of do it like that. So the kind of tag team thing. So it's... Nobody's just sitting around. What do you think? Lisa or who else? Margie, you have a craft, or... I don't know. Um, I'm just going to see if uh, Kristen is in here. She's saying that she's she's not in here. Come on. Okay. Um, you weren't in there, Kristen. That's why you didn't see the craft group. I am so sorry. You were, you were in Slack, but you weren't in the craft group. Now you're in the craft group, so you're all good. It's all good. Okay. Now... Where are we here? Let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm gonna like 
throw something. The TV is off. You're repinning Civil War because you do Civil War living history. So, yeah, Linda, if... Um, You hear this, see if you could maybe coordinate the same time with Kristen as the cake. You pulled out the Easy Bake Oven. A lack of concentration and steadiness now. Even once I was sealing, I completed the inside. Really? Did you read my message in Slack? No, Sonia. Hang on. Is it a private message to me or is it a message somewhere in Slack? I'm really behind on stuff. Where was it, Sonia? I don't see it. a private message. I don't think I do. Let me see. I don't, I don't, I don't see it. What was the message? I don't know what room it was in. Was it in general? I don't see anything. Um, I'm lost. I don't see anything. I'm coming back, Sonia. Hey, Angel Callie's here. How's your mom? I wanted to throw something. Oh, at the TV. You bake all the time, seriously. No, I didn't. I just wanted to. I don't know. Everybody's sending me private messages. If you sent it, I would get it, but I don't. I don't know if it was a no. If it's a private message, I'll get it. But I, there's nothing there from Sonia. It says, "Do not disturb." It's okay, I'll still get it if you do that anyway. You don't bake in the summertime because it works against the already over... Oh. Infection is the same. She was getting irritated because they couldn't get the IVs in. Why do they have to put them in again? Shouldn't they be in? Your foot's asleep, yikes. You made a video. Oh, to, is it a video video or just a video portion? What was it for? Totally people abuse that. Get up, stand up. I call the names. What's the word? Crazy. Save Robbie. 
Why is he eating a stalk of celery for dinner? Why is he, he has aunts, he lives with Aunt Sally. Aunt Sally's not cooking? Oh, they had to put new ones in? Oh, the old one's getting irritated, got it. Okay. I look rather suntanned? No, I'm not. I'm not suntanned. <laughs> Must be the lighting, I'm not suntanned. It's an apple, it's a coffee cake with, what is it, apples on, apples in the middle, apples on top. I know you said you wouldn't like to live in Colorado. I've never been to New York. I've been to DC. Oh, yeah, New York is nice. I mean, there's lots of parts of New York, the city, or upstate, and way upstate, and way, 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 way upstate. And way upstate. You were online looking for decoupage stuff, like, oh, okay. You can get a lot of that stuff at the dollar store, and, um, you know what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be doing some page churning. <laughs> Sounds exciting, doesn't it? No, but I have to go through some magazines. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it keeps going up and down. I'm sure it is. Jimmy, it's going up again. Jimmy. Oh my gosh. You're upstate, Grace? Where? How far upstate? Way, 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 way upstate, Grace? What county? No, it's just, it's just ahead. Um, probably Sonia. Uh, yeah, I think so. Unless you want to take it over. You want to take it over? Oh, you're in Erie. Is that way up? I didn't know you were in New York. I really didn't. Yeah, that's pretty, that's up. Oh, wow. Your son, yeah, that's, that's up. Where are you? Your son is there and where are you? Middle of the finger legs. Oh, that's up too. Yeah, that that well, Buffalo. That's up. Somebody told me they were going to Buffalo. Cookie dog doesn't like that fake. <laughs> no, and Jimmy put it on a board. It's new here, and I just finished my thirty-day trial. I love it. What do you love? What's new there? Thirty-day trial of what? Hogansburg, way upstate. Oh, yeah, that's way, 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 way upstate. Yeah, people get upset. They don't even say, like, they're like you're not upstate New York. Come on, upstate, that's not upstate New York. You're leaving Buffalo? I don't blame you. Shuffling off. Did anybody ever play Diner Dash? Did anyone ever play Diner Dash? He's headed to my side of the pond? Yeah? N no, no, the game, Diner Dash. I was addicted to it too, right after I had Ethan. Oh my gosh. I remember Jimmy used to say, you forgot, oh, did you? Yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad I'm not the only one. I don't even know. I think it came on our new computer at that time. And that's when the kitchen was different. We used to have a desk area in the kitchen, so I was on the computer. So after I would get the the baby, I would get the baby to bed or something. And then Jimmy would say, are you coming? And I said, he said, oh, I know you have a few more tables, right? Don't stay up too late. And then, then when you get the little hacks and you know how to make the people wait, right? And then I was, then I like just, I, for the longest time, I couldn't get past a certain level. 
and you played that too and then you figured out how to, you figured out how to do it right you can still get newer versions of Diner Dash. I, I can't get involved in that again. But it was like until I beat the entire thing. But I think it was it came on our new computer at that time. It would I'd be a happy woman if I could make my own kittens. It did. It, yeah, it was ridiculous. And the hearts, you had to watch the hearts. Oh my gosh. I thought the dine and dash was when. No, is it dine and dash, yeah, when you don't. Yeah, dine. Oh, I watched that silly I Am Mother or something that I couldn't get into that. I could not get into that, so I turned on 90 Day Fiance. I left it on the TV and I watched 90 Day Fiance on my um, laptop. You were out of chat? Why? It's buffering? No. But, um,. You just received your notice, Julie T. Wow. <laughs> the one, that one not as good. That one not as good as what? As the others? You were buffering and stuck at least. Oh, wow. I don't think I was stuck for anyone else. So there was the, it told me, I hope. Um, hold on a minute. Oops, I gotta put my phone on the charger. I had to refresh. I was the part four of Grand Tomato keeps buffering for me. Maybe something's buffering because it shouldn't be. Part four. Oh, AI movie Stephen King. But then there was another AI movie. My son made me watch it. Something like um, the guy had the girl. Oh, gosh. He would know what movie it was. I don't know. Let me see if I can get him on the phone. This is going to... Yeah, Maybe, it w hold on a minute. You're eating blueberry dump cake? That's where you just put blueberry filling in a cake mix or something? You know what he told me tonight? He, he messaged me tonight and he said that um, his aunt's blood pressure was 270 over 100. I said she'd be dead. He goes, oh, maybe she said 170? I said, it's still dying high. <laughs> right? Isn't it? You just had plain cheesecake. You watched it, but I didn't like it. Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Um, I did watch 90 Day Fiance. You know what I'm thinking about Larissa? Larissa is always like, going on and on about nah by BP has been up to 210 what 270 is not it doesn't even register I checked um, but uh, Her arms are bruised, she has continuous and blood thinner. The infection isn't going down. Okay, so where was I? What was I saying? Oh, Larissa. It's always 186 over 120, that's high. Yeah, 
you have is cake mix and butter and blueberries from a can. Cake mix and butter and blueberries from a can. Your blood pressure has been two, 270 over 100. Yeah, that's a stroke. When my mother had her stroke and the paramedic was there, he the thing was just, it, it wouldn't go, and he said, oh no. They called 911 to take you from the doctor's office to the ER. Seventy over one hundred. Your BP is sky high. Oh my gosh! Do you take it at home? <sighs> but not two seventy. That doesn't even register because I even looked it up. My husband was bragging about how low his BP is, and I thought it was high. Yeah. I have this, something you could uh, you put on your wrist and it takes your blood pressure. 270 is a stroke. It is. It it's definitely is. Who, who, Grace, who's the walking dead? I'd scare the room if I was to take it and tell people, I'm sure. Uh, probably. Are you on meds for it? Mine's usually very low. It's usually like 118 or 120 over 78 or sometimes it's the top number can go a little lower. Only once when I was taking allergy medication, it made me, it made my blood pressure go up and then we made the connection, it was the allergy medication. I have had nurses make it worse. Some nurses don't know how to take it because I've had nurses come in and they say something like crazy and the doctor's like, they don't know how to take it and then they take it and it's normal call an ambulance. I felt like my head was lifting off. My blood pressure was 210 over 80. I was pretty here. Yeah, 112. You've had a stroke. Your BP is 121. They say it's perfect again. I think she needs a port too. She was very worried today and irritated. Things weren't getting better. You have one of the wrist cuffs too. You have low blood pressure. When I had two of my kids, it dropped really low. Took the bag of IV. 
that. I know when it's high, I get very confused. I'm young. If my blood pressure is 150 over 90, my doctors are freaking out, but it stays fine on meds. Wow. So what was I saying? Oh, about the movies? Oh, about Larissa. She, what happened to um, Jonathan? I, I know they broke up. Jonathan and, and Francesca, they broke up, but you broke your wrist, you know, ooh. That's, ooh, that's bad. Sometimes you can pass out. Yeah, I, I've been feeling like I'm going to pass out, but I, I know that's from the anemia and stuff. Um, after my kidney surgery, it went 73. Took four hours to get it up. Oh, wow. I hate that I'm always out early because I fall asleep. Oh, can I carry Lynn? So anyway, Larissa was making fun of Francesca's shape and she was making fun of all these other people. Like she's like perfect, right? And then I see her walking around on the set with like these tiny little shorts and like a sports bra or something. I mean, maybe it wasn't a, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was a sports bra. I don't know. But she has all kinds of rolls behind her back and her bottom half is not like toned or anything or tri like she's kind of a big girl, but she makes fun of all these people, you know, like, oh, they, you know, as if I, I don't know why she does that. But I was very surprised that she's walking around like that and letting anybody see even see that. And because then she's telling what's his name about how heavy he is and you know fatty what does she call him like fatty fatty culty or something big piggy um you had anemia docs told you to drink red wine <laughs> so i that that i was surprised at and then they were having like a big deal about the freaking slot machine Put it in the mother's room. Why, you, why don't you put it in the mother's room? Oh, gosh. And what else was on that one? Hey, Lady Hawk. What else did I see on that? Um, oh, Ashley and Jay, that's just crazy. Who else was on that one? What, where did Jonathan and the girlfriend, where did their story go? And where did that Kalani, not that I need to see that one because that, that I would just tune out the Kalani and Asuelo. That was, She doesn't want me to go home now. She calls me at six in the morning and asks what I'm doing. So worried about her, of course. Oh, okay. So you're in the hospital? Um, Yeah, right, Amber? Yeah, she was, but she wasn't just like, she was calling this woman out. And I'm just surprised she would let herself be shown like that. That's what I was surprised about. But anyway, yeah, so I was catching up on some episodes. Hey, keep it kind.
Kalani had another baby, right? What'd she have, a boy or a girl? You must go to sleep. Oh, you're leaving in the morning? Oh, you're leaving in the morning, Sharon? All right, have a safe trip. Be careful, drive carefully. Good night. I left tonight at 1.30, I was drained mentally. She's confused at times. She thinks she's been there for 13 days. Yeah, I tried to tell. Yeah, it gets confusing though, and you know, you're in that same space and she's probably on a lot of meds and so confusing I'm gonna get ready you have an okay I'm not gonna stay on long either because I might have to I don't know I J bells didn't come here yet she's supposed to tell me something a Vivian commercial just came on oh how, how what was I gonna say how weird is that okay oh absolutely you gotta be that co-pilot Jimmy loves when I co-pilot he loves it. How long is it, are you gonna be home tomorrow night? Are you gonna make it in one day? <laughs> With, it depends on what you're asking about. If you're asking about the other thing, no, things, that, that's not okay yet. You just legit, oh, the head? Gypsy? Two heads are better than one, aren't they? I could use an extra head around. Her hair looks good. Yeah, I haven't I haven't styled it yet. Wait till I do some styles on that. I was gonna do a style before. It's amber. It's just it's just a head on a board. It's just a head on a board. I want to stop, but we'll see. It's a 12 hour drive. Ooh, boy, that's a long time. That's a long time. And then do you do this like, oh, stop there, I want to stop there. I'll never let Jimmy forget. We were going to this pumpkin farm once way out in Pennsylvania. There was a place that was there. They had a donkey, a donkey. It was like a metal, huge metal donkey. Okay, like a lawn ornament, but like a full size freaking donkey outside this like really eclectic shop on the way. And I go, oh, let's just stop there. I want to just see what that what a donkey like that would cost. I don't even know the name of the shop. I'll never come back again. He goes, don't be silly. We'll come back this way on the way home, right? We didn't go back that way on the way home. And we've never gone there again. Did we ever go there again? No. Uh -uh. Um... We went to another pump. Well, we didn't go to a pumpkin farm. We went apple picking last year, and then we're not like big on the huge on the pumpkin farms. So I'm not a big Halloween person, but I like to go apple picking. Definitely, we'll go apple picking again this year. Um, but we went to this other place, and we never got, never saw that donkey. Remember, Jimmy, when you made me miss that big metal donkey that was outside, and I said I just want to see it. And then you're like, we'll come on the way back, and never ever came back on that way. Right? Yep. When your husband, he never wants to stop. You want to, yeah. I, I just wanted to stop. It would take two minutes. If it had been the other way around, he would have soaked the entire way. You would have. The head might. You would have. I don't know. I thought there was something Jimi Hendrix out there too. Huh? No, I know. What did you say? I sort of thought there was something Jimi Hendrix out there. <laughs> I did think there was, but... Well, I knew it was tough. 
we both stopped. Thanks, Andrew Kelly. What? We both should have stopped. We both should have stopped? Yeah. You were the one driving the car. Uh, well. I couldn't stop. Yeah. I'm here. Jimmy, can you say the word donkey? What? Do you think there's anything weird about the way I say donkey? No. No. Everybody on here, and no one has ever told me that. People tell me that I say the word donkey wrong. Maybe. No, we don't. If we're okay. It's the people that are on the other side that don't say it right. Oh, say donkey? Donkey. Yeah, say they say don don donkey. Donkey? Is that how they say it? Donkey. Don Quixote. They say it like Don Quixote. It's donkey. That's how you pronounce it. Donkey. I've, no one has ever said that to me, so it's a matter of where you are. Don Quixote. I now say donkey. But you don't have to put a U. It's still donkey. It's donkey. You won't find it in the dictionary, donkey. You don't have to. Hi, I'm Hank. Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Okay. Does he really, or are you joking? <laughs> what? Sulk? Donkey, donkey. It's a donkey. How many people are saying donkey right now? If you pronounce it donkey, that could be correct too. People, you know, see, if you did Don Key up here, they'd be like, what the heck is wrong with you? Is that Don Knotts? Don Key. Don Key. <laughs> mm mm. Donkey. <laughs> you don't say the word donkey. <laughs> You say Popeye wrong? How do you say it? How could you say Popeye wrong? What do you say? Popeye? What do you say? Popeye. Do you say Popeye? What do you, how do you say it? Popeye? Popeye. Is, how do, would you say it? I pronounce it like donkey. Your friend says hawk. I say hawk. I say hawk. You say pie pie? You say pie pie instead of pie pie? Pie pie. Oh, pie pie? Like that instead of pie pie? Pie pie? Pie pie. Pie pie. Pie pie. Did you see on YouTube the smallest dwarf dumpy donkey? No. You say pop pop pie popped pie. We've lost our minds. Yes. The other day you complimented cousin and his wife on their herd of donkeys on their farm, and they looked at me as if I had taken leave of my senses. <laughs> I don't know. We always say that. You don't pronounce sugar like most people? Sugar? What do you call it? Sugar? You want some sugar in there? You want one sugar or two sugars? <laughs> Monkey and donkey. Sugars. How do you say, do, do, what about schedule? Schedule. Did you put that on the schedule? I can't stand when people say that like that. Or when they say, do you say mature or mature? I used to have a teacher that always said it like that. Zucker. Zucker. They tell me, no sh. Oh, you say. They tell me no sh on sugar? Sugar. Oh, sugar. There we go again with the TV. 
And then I kind of late for Jimmy to be up. He's, he's watching. I think the kids fell asleep. He's watching the Avengers. Oh, I forgot to put the Descendants up today. Um, schedule. 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 I hate when people say that. Um, immature. That's an immature bald eagle. Safe. Fuddy cycle? What is that? Worsh. Worsh. Yeah. Yeah, worsh. I do not say that. I, I do not. You say schedule? Really? You say schedule? Coffee. You like coffee? I hate it when people say, oh, can I ask you a question? No, no, no. Can I ask you a question? Is that what you're trying to ask you a question? We used to have in our language book, it, it used to say something like, I used to think they were kidding. Fill in the blank. Can I learn you to ride that bike? Can I teach you to ride that bike? And I said, who in their right mind would ever say, can I learn you to ride that bike? I was like, what the heck? Some of those questions were like, would you Hi everyone, just popped in. Sorry, Carolyn. Oh, thanks, Carolyn. Caroline. Caroline. Pacific instead of specific. Pacific. Yeah, and what is it? Yeah, and uh, across. Just go right across the street. When my son's first grade teacher said that, I almost pulled him out of the class. She sat there with me through the whole parent-teacher conference going, okay, now if we just go across this line, and I just, so I had to bite my tongue so badly because I wanted to say, wait a minute, you're teaching him language and you say the word across, across? There's no T in it. Then I found out she was, she hooked up with a student's dad I don't know when, I don't know if they, it was then and they didn't announce it till later or what, but yeah. Anyway, uh, irregardless, yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, Angel and Callie. Yeah, How you say New York, New York. Newspapers. <laughs> she spelled, yeah, I, yeah I, I was dying, and she kept saying it over and over and over again. <laughs> Business. You just come every, yeah, we're trying to talk strange. Um, what's the other thing? Are we having a grammar class? Can we have a math class? Who remembers the quadratic formula? Better to hook up with the students than the student himself. Yeah, especially when they're only six years old. <laughs> that would really be bad. You hate people saying hatch instead of You hear people saying hatch instead of ack for age. My mom hated that American said coupon instead of coupon. You don't say gray poupon. Poupon, coupon. Oh, coupon, coupon. You mean coupons? I say coupon, not coupon, coupon.
Does anyone know if people from Indiana say Saul instead of Saul? 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 Why do you have the paint out? What paint? What paint? Where's the paint? Oh, the paint back there? Oh, because I'm going through, um, you can't see, I'm going through the all my craft stuff and I bought all little totes, remember my Dollar Tree haul? And I'm organizing all of my craft stuff and then I've got new shelving things downstairs in the basement as soon as Jimmy gets them all um, together and then I'm gonna start organizing all of my stuff because I need badly to organize it. So yeah, that's out because I didn't, guess I didn't put it in the rest of the things. You say Saul, not Saul. Better call Saul. Um, that's a great show. Yeah, it is. So good the first the first season when he hit the guys on the on the skateboard. How's Jimmy's ears after Alice? Okay, I'm trying to think. Why would Jimmy's ears be affected by Alice? How's Jimmy's ears after Alice? Oh, I never get to it either. I'm just getting to it now, and I'm still not to it. Otherwise, there wouldn't be two paints behind me and a pair of eye Are those a pair of eyelashes? Is that a pair of eyelashes? What are those for? That's weird. Oh, Alice Cooper. I thought you meant Alice the doll that was here last night, because her name is Alice, too. Um, yeah, his ears are not okay from years of listening to music. Yeah, I will when I get organized. <laughs> when I get my shelf all organized, I'll show you what I, how I put it all arranged at all. That'll give me some motivation to get it done. Looks like lashes for the head. <laughs> Maybe, did they come with the head? I don't know where they're there because I don't wear lashes like that, so I have no idea where those lashes came from. <laughs> Yeah, I usually have the intent too, but I've got to get my butt in order and get some stuff. Or I was organizing some books today. Oh, that's what I was saying about the page turning. See, and I, so somebody said they like the page turning. So then I picked up because I get sent a lot of a lot of books uh, from the publishers on the blog, and Jimmy goes crazy. But I have really nice like nice picture books and stuff. So I. I picked a bunch of those and I put them in a stack and I brought them up because I have to do them upstairs where it's quiet. And then I have those magazines I wanted to go through. Then it's going to give them to my aunt to give them somebody or something. But as I go through those magazines, I'm going to have a scissor with me. Because that's AMSR, right? I'm going to have a scissor with me. And anything I see that could be a decoupage thing, I'm going to, I'm going to, cut it right out of there. So whoever was just asking me about decoupage stuff, because I normally decoupage with fabric, I will tell you. I love decoupage with fabric because it doesn't tear. And I showed you those chairs I did with fabric. Um, but I, I'm going to just cut out some paper because I know Lisa likes to use paper. And I like the ladies that use the um, napkins, that's scary because I've watched some like do it on YouTube and they're like, oh, there's a little tear. Oh no, there's a little tear. And they're like, getting it's with fabric, you don't have to worry about it at all. I love fabric. Can you decoupage on plastic? You can decoupage on anything. There's so much stuff I'd like to decoupage. Uh, 
oh, okay, Caroline, but you said, are you, whenever you're ready, you have to let me know. What, what happened the last time? Good news, daughter-in-law got a job teaching at the university here. She's now, oh, good. She does the diagnosing bacteria. Okay, very good. People who put other people down have low self-esteem. Are, are you back on Larissa? Or did we, did someone just say something? Oh, that the instructor that humiliated her? Okay, I have a yogurt container. I'll make a pencil holder. You can do it on tin cans, too. I did it with the candy wrappers. I can't believe Lisa did the same thing. Lisa, did you hear me when I said I did a tin can on the candy wrappers, too? Someone put Linda down in college. They were rude to her. That's not nice. But anyway, I don't know where Jabel's is. But I really need to hear from her quite quickly because she said we might have an appointment or something in four hours. And, you know, I'd like to know before I go to bed um, if that's true. Has, any, has, she, has she made an appearance yet? What time is it there in the UK there? Oh, I'll text her because it's she shouldn't be sleeping. It's eight. She called me at five in the morning yesterday. She sounded like the, you know, the Twilight Zone lady, the one that, hello. Right, the one that says, where's the line on the grave? It's right there. It's your husband. And I scared the life out of me. And she said, what? And I said, your voice sounds like the, the lady from the Twilight Zone. And she said, well, it's five in the morning. But I didn't call her, right? So I like, you ever call somebody and it's really early and they're like, it's five in the morning. But I'm like, okay, it's 8.20, right? And then I'm just like, but you called me. <laughs> Or did anybody ever call you really early in the morning and you try to sound like you're not sleeping? So that you're like, <clears throat> <clears throat> hello? hello, and they go, did I wake you? And you're like, no, no, absolutely not. I've been up for hours. I've been up for hours. Yeah, I've already done a lot of stuff. Like, so it's like so embarrassing to say that, yeah, well, I, I was laying down here. You've got to make all these excuses that you weren't, right? No, not at all. Oh, don't be, you think I would be sleeping at this time? Come on now. It's, my gosh, I've, I've done so much. I've already been to the mall and back, and, and I've put in a roast and everything. <laughs> but they, they can tell. Like, and, you, and you think you watch Web of Lies. You always look at the clock and say it's before noon, of course. I always say, how long have we known each other? <laughs> Yeah, and sometimes you think you can get rid of that sleepy voice by clearing your throat a little bit. That's why your phone is muted. You had to lie that you weren't sleeping in. I have a couple of great ideas for crafts, all Dollar Tree stuff. They're really cute. As soon as my mom gets a little better, I will show you guys and you can be like, okay, good. There she is. I don't have to text her. I was just talking about you. Good morning. Are you sleeping? No. It's true though, right? That you, you're like, oh shoot, it's 9.30. I can't let them think I'm sleeping. No. But then there's some people you call and they could care less. They're like, yeah, I'm sleeping but it's one in the afternoon. I know, I'm tired. When the work phone calls. We... You thought your ears were burning? Yeah. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. Is he kidding me? I didn't see that. Remember the the woman I told you had had high blood pressure? I said, well, where is she? And he said, the hospital. She needs open heart surgery. And I didn't even know that. Open heart surgery. What? Why? Why would she need open heart surgery for high blood pressure? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Wow. How come my daughter didn't say? Maybe they found something causing her heart. Really? Wow. I didn't... That's weird. Maybe it was... Too, no, if it was 270, it would be a, it would be a stroke. You brought the prison to a standstill? Oh my gosh. Jimmy. Jimmy, everybody can hear that TV so loud. They're already saying it in the chat. If I ever did this, if I ever did this with something, he can hear the TV like it, under like closed doors, upstairs in the bedroom with the bedroom door closed, he'll come down and it won't even be loud like this and he'll be, you can even tell. The Avengers Endgame, my gosh, hearing aids, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Hi, baby Vlad. I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, he's had a hearing test. Yeah. He won't admit it, though. It's too vain. You have a fun craft idea. Many of you have hoarded vintage fabrics like I do. I use fabric glue to attach shapes of flowers to tote bags, and then I sew cute buttons in the center for flowers. Do you go over the? Do you ever, you ever go over them with the little embroidery stitch? I wish I had. You're so vain. Who's so vain? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not saying anything. I just, I, you know, nothing bad. It's, you can see what I'm saying. It's Jimmy, shut the TV. Lower the TV. He refuses because he could hear the fridge freezer no matter where he was. <laughs> I don't know. He drives me crazy. But he can hear, I swear to you, he has hearing when he wants to, and then he'll come all the way down and be like, you got to lower this TV, it's so loud. Like, oh my gosh, if I ever had the TV as loud as he had it on. What is the new Godzilla movie blast? I think about the Carly said, clouds in my coffee, clouds in. I'm thinking of all the lyrics. Is it, just tell me what it's to do with. Is it to do with Jimmy? With cutting off her blanket to make herself a nightgown. Oh no. Oh, have fun, Kazbat. Have fun at work. 
Yeah, but then he can hear other things. And don't you hate when you can hear like a high pitched noise or something and you say, wait, wait, can you hear that? And the other person can't hear it and you're going crazy. And you're like, no, you can't hear that? No, you don't hear that? No. Then you're thinking like, am I just hearing? No, I'm not just hearing that. That is really going on. He just can't. And then you, I have to call on one of the kids and I'm like, wait, wait, can you hear that? And like, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you make fake stitches around with your fabric pens? But yeah, there's other things he can hear if I'm trying to whisper or something, he can hear it. It does a high pitch sound. There's certain times I hear it and he's like, no, I don't hear it. You don't hear it? No. You finally got the Pokemon movie. Hi, Cupcake. So, J Bells, what's going on? You need to tell me if I've got to be available in four hours or not. Okay, good. Offline, you see I'm buffering. How could it be? I'm not, but you think, you know, the hospital staff let her sew in the hospital. Was she just drawing? Bring her some Dollar Tree crafts, like those little crafts. Angel Kelly, they, they come like five in a bag. Bring her a couple of those to do. I'm okay now? You see me fine. Okay. You're back on. All right. Good. But I am, I am going to do that with the paper just to see. I, I, I do. So far, I have, you've seen my, my fabric, right? The ch chairs and stuff that I've done. I even did some ladder back chairs that I got at an auction. I did the, the backs with them. The, just the, the little slats. I did those with fabric. Those are downstairs somewhere. You can hear this high-pitched hum. It's like a drill. Oh yeah, where's Lisa Slater and Granny? I hope they are okay. Lisa Slater, where are you? Where's Granny? You bought her a soft blue blanket. No needles, and she was making strips. I don't know, maybe. I don't know, I'm trying to think. Go to put the dryer back on. A tick. Talk. Do you have her email? Um, I don't know. I have to look. I'm really late, just woke up. Oh, three more till 19. We'll see if we'll hit it by the morning. Yeah, I, they're usually here, so maybe they are on vacation. It is summer after all. I'll check if I have her email. So, what else, that's it? Do you have pictures somewhere? Yeah, um, on my blog, there's some chair, little chairs I did with fabric, you know, on uh, mommyramblings.org. Go to the craft section. You'll see it. Or type in the search. You could type in Mod Podge, and you'll find it. Mommyramblings.org. 
Oh, there's my text. What do you think it is? I have to get up or not? No coloring books yet. She has always liked to be busy. Oh yeah, coloring books are a good idea. Okay. It doesn't look like I have to get up yet. Have you heard from... Yes. Yes, I did hear from Swifty. And Swifty said he was going to be out of commission for a while. Remember he was going to do those exercises? Yeah. And then something happened to his back and his vertebrae. And he's got to go and get that done. But he'll be back later. Yeah, he did. Swifty did let me know. No, no. Mod Podge is what you use to decoupage. It's the... Uh, it's like glue and water. Oh my gosh, I see a wig. No, you see a head. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah, Swifty, if you're listening, we'll help you get better soon. It's just like when he was going to do his exercises. Hi, Vegas Donna. What's her name? She doesn't have a name. My, my husband said he thought it looked like my cousin's daughter. <laughs> Good for applying decals or for puzzles, yeah. You got some woodless? Woodless? Colored pencils, they were great to carry around. You know, what? Oh, you mean like they, they have a little like crayon colored thing? I haven't tried out my new colored pencils yet. And I want to. Where are my colored pencils? I was going to try that last night when I took an early night and I was watching that movie that I didn't like. Um, now I probably put my, I bet you see, this is what happens when I get organized. This is what happens. Then I get so organized, I don't know where I put everything. I probably put my colored pencils somewhere in a in a in a thingy. Have you guys seen that tutorial of the lady braiding her daughter's hair? No, but I'm going to I, I wanna do I wanna do a tutorial on on her hair. And um, some ASMR on her. No, we can't name her Marilyn. Why would we name her Marilyn? That's my sister. That would be confusing. And then my sister would get like all, all creeped out. She would get really creeped out. Why do you have a head in your kitchen named Marilyn? I did not even like the trailer on Mother, so I've not watched it. I knew it would be the same old stuff to me. Oh, there's Lisa. Lisa, did you see when I told you that I had the same kin tin cans with the candy wrappers? And I did the same thing as you, isn't that crazy? We're wondering if you could do the decoupage for 45 minutes in between the cake. What do you think about that? And then the extra time could be when the 25 minutes that she said the cake is cooling. Didn't you see that? You didn't hear me say that the other night? It was crazy, and I had two tin cans right over here. It was, it was crazy. I can't believe you did the same thing I did. I have to bring my tin can in. It could be a baking crafting. Would you be up for that? So it'd be like baking, then crafting, then what do we have to do with cool the cake and stuff, she said, and then we could be crafting again, and then... So it'd be like a bait craft, bait craft thing. What do you think about that? I just put Kristen in the craft group. She wasn't in there. I thought she was there, but she wasn't. Good night, Amber. Um, it's a coffee cake in a ring pan with apples. 
whatever you guys want. Okay. Your daughter wanted cutting markers, but I know I got the fabric markers too. I don't know if they're the ones you have, Sunny. Where are my fabric markers? See? Um, where did I put them? I don't know where I put everything. I got, uh, what, what, what are the brand of fabric markers you have, Sunny? Is Sunny still here? No breaks. Yeah, no breaks for cheating. She wanted, well, I don't know, she's, there's a couple of days she said in the beginning of this thing, like she said, she didn't know. She's like, oh, I could do it the 17th, 18th, or this date, or that date, or this date. Um, but she's in the craft group now, so we can talk to her in the craft group because she wasn't in there before. She thought she was, but she wasn't. It's crazy. Um, yeah. And then somebody wanted to know where they could get decoupage stuff, but I tried to explain that. Who was that? Who wanted to know? Sassy? Darcy? Oh, she wanted to do four short lives. And it's, no, it can't be. They'll cheat, right? They would just get, they burn their cake. They'll just do something. They'll, they'll run down to the store and put an entomans in there or something. You can't, you can't let them go. If somebody's oven caught on fire, we wouldn't even see it. So maybe if we could do some crafting in between, and if Kristen, you know, she's the instructor, so she's not going to cheat. So if she has to go, she can go and then come back. But everybody else, you can do a short video on Slack. Oh, good. Okay. All right, then I can share it here. All right, good. We miss all the fun stuff if we had breaks like that. Right. People would cheat like crazy. They'd be like, here, give me some bread. I'll just put bread there. They'll think it's the cake. It's not burnt. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, aren't you, aren't you in there? Do you see yourself in Slack? Slack, they're like work groups. Are, are, you're not in Slack? You are. Are you in the craft group? You have to be in the craft group because that's the group I added you to. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's not a painting group. It's a craft group, and then from there, the group of painting came out, Mama Ames came out, then we have decoupage and now cake baking. Who else? The ladies that is making the houses, the Christmas houses. Who else do we have in there? Um, Mama Ames said she'll make the wreaths. Amber, if you're listening, she's going to make the wreaths that you want to make, Mama Ames said. And what else did Mama Ames say? Mama Ames said something else. Mama Ames said there'd be days like this. Um, who says that? Mama said, oh, Mama said. Are you making separate groups? Nah, we're leaving it all a big craft group and then, you know, people can jump out. Has Barbara been in here? Barbara. That's like the Twilight Zone too. Barbara. Barbara? What do you mean, has she been in here? You mean recently? She's been around. She was around... I mean, she's been emailing me. She emailed me this... Uh, like, are you, are you missing her? I don't know if she's she's been here the other day. I don't know if she's been here tonight. She's in Slack. Are you in Slack? I'm in Slack. I don't think I'm in the craft group. It has a lock next to craft. <laughs> You can see the you can see the the group craft. Then you have to be in it. If you can see it, you're in it. Right? Isn't that true, Jessica? If you're not in a private group, are you able to see it? Yeah. 
You're not in, in, in craft wildlife? Hi, Pitbull Sleuth. No, you can't see it if it's not. So you must be in the group then. If you can see it, you're in the group. You have no clue it's even there. No clue. Right now, got to get going with my day. All right, Lisa Donna. Ciao now for now, gang. Ciao. Um, I just see the word craft on the menu, but it hasn't. But that's your group, but you're in there. Do you, do you see, um, when you go into that group, do you see the little Christmas houses? Do you see Mama Ames? Do you see decoupaging pictures? Yeah, Lisa, I put them in the, um, I put them in the, in one of the lives we did. I put all of your pictures in there. Everybody was like going crazy. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Night of the Living Dead. Mine has a lock. Yeah, the lock doesn't mean anything. The lock just means it's a private group. That means that no one other than the craft people are going to be in there. If you're not a crafter, you're not in there. It means like public people can't come in and out of there. I'm right now lucky to find my clothes, let alone my crafts. Today I tried to find the tubs that had my summer tops. All I could find was my winter clothes. It's frustrating. Sounds like my life. Um... Well, you're in it. You're in it, Deb. If you see, if you see it, it's it's there. You're there. It's just showing you that the group is private. Believe me, you want it private. You don't want a couple, a bunch of nosy people coming in and out. They don't even know what the heck is going on. That aren't even in the Ramblers, and they're just in Slack looking around for stuff. Sorry. Oh, you weren't there. Which video? Um, I don't. Does anybody remember when I showed the decoupage stuff? I thought I emailed you right after that. Um, oh my goodness. Let's see. It was after you came on with your husband. Probably a couple of days after that, maybe. I can move you. Want to go to crafts? I'll move you to the craft room. Would you like to go to the craft room? I will move you to the craft room. Let me do it right now before I forget, Sonia, because I, I tend to do that. I tend to forget. I can show, I think I have your decoupage pictures here. I can show them in a minute. Let me move Sonia to the craft room. I feel like I'm Willy Wonka. Move her to the craft room. Okay, here you are. Okay, I'm gonna move you over here to the craft room. I actually am gonna put, I'm, I am gonna change the name. You know, right now it says craft panel. I don't know why, I'm gonna change it to the craft room. All right, but for right now, I'm just gonna add you in there. All right, you're now in the craft room. They're making taffy in there. No. All right, now I'm f I'm fairly certain I have your pictures right here. So just hang on for one second. And let me grab your pictures. They would be over here. Okay. I I might have, let me see.
something happened to me and anybody went through my files that didn't know me and they saw like serial killer next to my kid's concert and because I don't use folder I, I do use folders sometimes but not as much as I should and even if it looks at my computer's like why don't you use folders Oh, I, oh no, I thought I found them. Hold on. Oh, I found the snow babies. I found Mama Ames with her glue gun. I found the people's projects. I found the little houses. Hold on. Little houses. Oh, I found your decoupage. Okay. Hang on. There's materials. Oh, look at the cat by the window. Okay. You got one of those, tar the, did you get that card at Target, that aqua cart at Target? The one lady that was cleaning her house, she had a bunch of those at her bathroom. Everybody's giving a grief about it, but I think they're cute. Okay, types of paper, right? And I went over that and I was like, oh, I, I talked extensively about your use of books and stuff. I spoke extensively about that. Are you buying those at thrift shops and stuff? I, I, you have to go listen to my video. I don't want to bore everyone to tears. I spoke extensively about that, about the books. Um, then you have that. The cats, we talked about the cats looking out the window. And let's see. Um, oh, and then you have this. Project samples. Right, and then we talked about this thing hanging right here. We said, is that a kitchen witch? What is that, a kitchen witch? We didn't know what that was. And let me see, did we have anything else here, Lisa? Let me see. Trying to see, I'm going through to see if anything got in the wrong place. Well, let me just come back to chat and ask you. Is there anything else, Lisa, that I'm missing? A kitchen witch, well, what is that? What is this right over here? Is Lisa still here? Lisa, what is this over here? Your Wi-Fi is wonky. Oh, oh no! You t after all that, you lost me again. <sighs> Do you have us now? You didn't hear anything I said. You're gonna have to watch that on replay, Lisa. No, you, I don't think you have to. I, I use fabric a lot. I think you can use whatever you want, Lisa. Lisa, have you ever used fabric? I love using fabric. Once I used wallpaper, like Winnie the Pooh, and I cut it out and I put it on. That's a long time ago before YouTube or anything. And then I think I put, I don't even know if it was Mod Podge or it was some type of sealer. I don't even know how I did that now. How the freak did I do that? I think I just wet it and stuck it on there. I don't even think I put a sealer on it. I don't even know. What the heck was it that I made with that? A step stool or something? Yeah, I think it was a step stool. 
You use wallpaper a lot? Yeah. I use wallpaper on the, the old milk cans. I spray paint and then I put like a border around the center. I bought so many borders on sale. I gotta look at my borders on sale. I probably can use a lot of those for like a dollar a piece and I bought a bunch of them for stuff, for crafts. Oh, good luck with your dentist. You're gonna have an altercation? I hope not. We used to have brown paper on our school books. We used to buy wallpaper and wrap presents. This and they used to look so nice, and, and then people were like crazy. They oh, that's crazy, and then now everybody, so many people use that stuff. My sister-in-law started it, but every time we would unwrap, they go, "What did you use? Wallpaper?" But it was so nice. Some of the patterns are really nice. I did Mod Podge on hat boxes with Christmas paper to put Christmas gifts for my kids' teachers, like wine glasses set on shredded paper. Very nice. Okay, so Lisa, was there any other pictures? And Lisa, you haven't told me about the kitchen witch. You want to do decoupage on a bowling ball? I don't know if it'll hold up, though, Sassy. Why, you lost your clothes, Deb? You can only see chat. I can't see or hear you, Carolyn. Oh, wow. You're going to have to watch this on replay again. And then we still don't know about your kitchen witch. Okay. Um, I don't remember seeing your kitchen witch behind you. And I think you were sitting in front of it. Maybe, you, maybe you've taken the kitchen witch down. Okay, well, anyway, I think we'll call it a night tonight and we'll, we'll worry about the other stuff. So yeah, just let the cake know and then good night to our mods here. Good night to everybody. If you're all buffering, you might be having storms. Um, all right, so I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have fun. Thanks to our mods. Thanks for everyone for coming. Prayers to everyone that needs them. Uh, the whole community, everybody. I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye now. Oops, I've got to turn up over here. Hang on. Where's my... I can't turn the office off. There we go. End meeting.